Yeah. No, just the, the yeah, downbeats of them are cool. Are we getting anything? We're not getting anything. And on the list, I just want to um, a little bit, if you could, make it a little bit more definite, the pitch at the end of the list. You know, so it's a little more definite to where it lands. Okay. And I think you can play it just a little bit stronger. Just those figures. That da, 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 slightly stronger. It's really nice the way it is. I just want to get a little more volume. Just an anxious moment, meeting with him. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We'll find out soon. <laughs> as I can of the room, the natural ambience of the room and the space. That's one of the reasons why we came here to do it was because it's a nice large room and you get a lot of just natural reverb and echo and the musicians' instruments and has, have room for, there's room for the instruments to, 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 you know, present their voice and all their glory. Um, consequently, I put the mics further away. I don't get right close in on the instruments because I like to actually capture the sound of the instrument as it interacts with the room. For this pass, since they're overdubbing to what the strings already did, I'm actually giving them a mix of the string recording that we just did so that they can hear the orchestra and play along with it. it helps them with their intonation and, and you know it helps them with the proper dynamic. And then they, they get themselves and click track. They hear themselves, a click track and the strings that they just recorded all in your in your headphones. Since we're done recording now, this will go back to his studio where he has a compatible Pro Tool setup and we'll have a uh, We'll do whatever editing and, and arranging we need to do, but most of it's actually done. We, I was doing it as we went, and plus everything was done you know, with music. They were reading music, so there's really not a lot left to, to be um, decided other than the mixing. And so uh, he has a system at home where we'll, we'll, we'll go back to his place and, and uh, do the editing and then uh, do the mixing right there at his place. You know, what we recorded today is the basis for everything. And for there are some instruments that we didn't record today, which I'm going to do with the sampler. Um, more things like percussion and harp and uh, things that are really uh, easy to do, you know, with, with the, the studio, <clears throat> with the composing studio, and are really convincing. <clears throat> so I was able to save some cost by not recording them live. Um, and then those, most of them are actually already recording into Pro Tools. Um, so they're probably ready to be mixed. But if there are a few things that we haven't done yet, then I'll quickly record them out. Uh, and, and then Lawrence will mix them in. Okay, so.
clean. Okay. Let me do two passes, okay? No problem. And not, not too much accent on the last note, though. Okay. Do you want it? I mean, what about the feeling? Do you want it more? I mean, I was sort of just letting, Let, letting it. Yeah. I was I was blending more than, than really. Do you want me to hit it hard? Are these real tabs? Well, yeah. What, is, what would it sound like a little harder? Okay, I'll try. All right, just for the sake of hearing it. Say we did it at Abbey Road, so just uh, don't let on that we did it here. The bathroom at Abbey Road. <laughs> 